grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to Daily Prayer from St. John's Episcopal Church, Princess Street, Edinburgh. My name is Grace Durham and I am a member of the congregation. Today we celebrate Joseph of Arimathea. He was a secret disciple of our Lord, whose intervention with Pilate ensured a burial for Jesus' crucified body. After the crucifixion, many of Jesus' disciples went into hiding for fear of the authorities. Joseph courageously came forward to ask Pilate's permission to remove Jesus' body from the cross in accordance with pious Jewish practice, namely, to provide for the deceased with a timely and proper burial. Moreover, Joseph freely offered his own newly dug tomb for Jesus, preventing further desecration by humans or animals. Although we know nothing of his further role in the early Christian movement, legends developed in later centuries about Joseph's possible subsequent leadership, including medieval traditions connecting him to Glastonbury in Britain. However, Joseph's remembrance depends primarily upon the gospel narrative of Jesus' burial, attesting to his devotion, his generous compassion, and his brave willingness to take action on behalf of another when such action mattered. Let us worship with words from Psalm 16. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who upheld my lot. My boundaries endorse a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I've set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not fail. My heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also rests in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Let us pray. Merciful God, whose servant Joseph of Arimathea, with reverence and godly fear, prepared the body of our Lord and Savior for burial and laid it in his own tomb. Grant to us, your faithful people, grace and courage to love and serve Jesus with sincere devotion all the days of our lives. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from Proverbs. Hear, my child, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of righteousness. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. If you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made something to stumble for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. A song of pilgrimage from Ecclesiasticus. Before I ventured forth, even while I was very young, 
I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. In the four courts of the temple, I asked for her, and I will seek her to the end. From the blossom to the early fruit, she has been the delight of my heart. My foot has kept firmly to the true path, diligently from my youth have I pursued her. I inclined my ear a little and received her. I found myself much wisdom and became adept in her. To the one who gives me wisdom will I give glory, for I have resolved to the life according to the way. From the beginning I gained courage from her, therefore I will not be forsaken. In my inmost being I have been stirred to seek her, therefore have I gained a good possession. As my reward, the Almighty has given me the gift of language, and with it I will offer praise to God. Glory to the most holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. Now there was a good and righteous man named Joseph, who, though a member of the council, had not agreed to their plan or an action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea, and he was waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down, wrapped it in a linen cloth, and laid it in a rock-hewn tomb where no one had ever been laid. It was the day of preparation, and the Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come down with him from Galilee followed, and they saw the tomb and how his body was laid. They then returned and prepared spices and ornaments, ointments. On the Sabbath, they rested according to the commandments. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The Song of Hannah from 1 Samuel. My heart exalts in you, O God. My triumph song is lifted into you. My mouth derides my enemies, for I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like you, nor any rock to be compared to you, our God. Do not hold up power, prideful words or speak in arrogance. Only God is knowing and waits all actions. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed in strength. Those once now labor for bread. Those who hungered now are well fed. The childless woman has borne sevenfold, while the mother of many is forlorn. God destroys and brings to life, casts down and raises up, gives wealth or takes it away, humbles and dignifies. God raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with rulers and inherit a place of honor. For the pillars of the earth are God's on which the whole earth is founded. Glory to the most holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health upon all, among all nations. 
Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We pray for peace in the world, for the Church and the College of Bishops at the Lam Lambeth Conference. Let us all bring before God those moments in our past when we violated God's will for our lives, when we hurt one another and violated life in its diversity, and when we ignored the beauty that God created us to be. Let us confess our sins. Be at peace. God forgives. Amen. Let us now pray in the way our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.